Our top story, DeKalb police have identified a person of interest in the Antoinette Tony Keller murder investigation, according to the Chicago Tribune. A man notified the police of a fire in a DeKalb park on October 14th, the day of Keller's disappearance. He is now being held on an obstruction of justice charge and unlawful possession of a motor vehicle in Louisiana and is awaiting extradition to Illinois. The 18-year-old Northern Illinois University student was last seen after she told friends she was going for a walk in a DeKalb park. Police found unidentified human remains in the park and items that are thought to be Keller's. Even though the homicide investigation is continuing, family and friends got together to celebrate Tony Keller's life. NCTV 17's Holly Rodruck tells us how the campus and community are coping with the crisis. I want to say that I know that you're sad. We're sad. And it's okay to be sad. That shows the love that you have for Tony. A magnificent As candles shone in the dim NIU ballroom, Tony so Keller's okay friends shared their feelings. Together. This has been so difficult for us. We love you, Tony, and miss you more than words can tell. It's an ongoing process. At an earlier press conference, police said they'd found human remains which had been burned at the crime scene, along with items consistent with those Keller was thought to be carrying. Due to the state of the burned remains, an autopsy is not viable. Forensics experts have identified the remains as human. Whether these remains are Tony's, or not could take some time. The Prairie Park crime scene is still taped off and police are following up with interviews. Even though there's heightened security around campus and DeKalb County, some students at NAU still feel unsafe. Now that makes me even more uncomfortable. It makes me feel even less safe walking around here because you never know what's going to happen. I just feel a little bit in the dark from all the information that's being withheld from the students. I feel that the university and the city could have helped out and give a little more information. It's really sad that, you know, we don't know any fine details about the situation. And I, and I just feel, I feel, I feel very unsafe. The sad truth is bad things can and do happen anywhere. Tony reminds us of this. As the university community struggles with Tony Keller's mysterious disappearance, they try to move forward together. Reporting from NIU, Holly Rodork, Naperville News 17. NIU and DeKalb Police are encouraging anyone with information on the case to contact local officials at 815-753-4648.